Hello and welcome to a discussion on flexible budgets. A flexible budget computes expected operating profits at sales volume changes. Flexible budgets rely on the foundational concepts of cost volume profit analysis. After viewing this video, you should be able to prepare a flexible budget in the format of the contribution margin income statement. You will also be able to project operating income for different levels of sales. You will then compute sales dollar variances and cost variances for the actual units sold using a flexible budget. You will explain how cost behavior impacts operating income. A flexible budget is used to project profits at various sales levels. Let's do a quick review of the cost behavior of fixed and variable cost. The per unit sales price and the per unit variable cost will not change as sales volume changes. Therefore, the contribution margin per unit will not change as the volume changes. Total fixed costs do not change as sales volume changes. Remember to use the cost behaviors that do not change when preparing flexible budgets. The first step to preparing a flexible budget is to sort costs by variable and fixed and set up a contribution margin income statement. This is done on the left side. The next step is to write the per unit amount beside the sales, variable cost, and contribution margin. Afterwards, select a range of units sold and write them across the top. Next, multiply the per unit amount that does not change by the quantity of units sold for each column. Total contribution margin will be different for each quantity of units sold. Subtract the total fixed cost, which will remain the same regardless of the quantity of units sold. Let's look at an example with some numbers. Management would like to know the estimated operating income when sales are 100,000 and 200,000 units. The contribution margin format income statement is used. Write the format and the amount per unit on the left side next to the line description. The dollar amounts in the column of quantity sold is equal to the per unit amount multiplied by the quantity of units sold. Notice the contribution margin percentage does not change. Fixed costs are the same regardless of the quantity sold. As units sold increases, operating income increases at a greater percentage than sales because fixed costs do not change. A flexible budget can be compared to actual results for a given quantity to determine the reason for the difference in estimated and actual income. The difference in the estimated amount and the actual amount is called a variance. Lower than expected actual cost and higher than expected sales gives a favorable variance. Favorable is better than expected. Actual cost higher than expected and sales lower than expected gives an unfavorable variance. Unfavorable is worse than expected. Let's work through an example of how to prepare a flexible budget. Take a moment to read through the information gathered by the accountant. Notice the sales and variable costs are stated in per unit amounts and fixed costs are stated in total amounts. The first step is to write the units across the top. Next, format of the variable cost income statement on the left. Begin with sales less all variable cost equals the contribution margin. Write the dollar amount per unit beside the description of the variable cost. Multiply the quantity of units by the amount per unit to get the total dollar amount for sales and each variable cost. Next, subtract all fixed costs to compute the operating income. Notice that total sales, total variable cost, and total contribution margin changes with changes in sales volumes. Fixed costs do not change as volume changes. Operating income increases by the same amount that total contribution margin increases because fixed costs do not change. The first example demonstrated how to prepare a flexible budget. 
The second example shows how a flexible budget can be used to analyze what causes operating income to be different than expected for the actual number of units sold. The first step is to set up the variable cost income statement down the left side and state the per unit amounts. The second step is to write the three columns across the top. Next, compute the budgeted cost for the actual 245,563 units sold. Multiply 245,563 by the per unit amounts and compute the contribution margin. Prepare the actual income statement from information that is given. The difference between the budget and the actual amount for each line item is shown in the variance column. Sales greater than budget and cost lower than budget is favorable. This is a good thing. Cost higher than expected and sales lower than budget is unfavorable, a bad thing. The flexible budget shows where the costs were different than expected and what caused the difference in operating income. After viewing this video, you should be able to prepare a flexible budget in the format of a contribution margin income statement and project operating income for different levels of sales. Compute sales dollar variances and cost variances for the actual unit sold using your flexible budget. Afterwards, explain how cost behavior impacts operating income. Please go to studymyaccounting.com. Practices you learn will give you examples of each of the concepts discussed in this video. Work the practice test to verify your understanding. Write the answers out and check your answers to the answers and explanations provided. Please write them out. It will help you to really get it. Thank you for being prepared for class.